In this video, I'll talk about how to measure the overflow of water from a completely filled the glass. And the overflow happens due to the thermal expansion. So we have a Pyrex glass, this Pyrex glass, and the volume of this Pyrex glass is 500 cubic centimeter. And it is completely filled with water at a certain temperature. In this case, it is room temperature, 20 degrees Celsius. And when you heat it the, to 50 degrees Celsius, some of the water overflows. You see, this is the overflow water. That's the overflow water. And now you need to find out what's the volume of this overflow water. The given the quantities are the coefficient of expansion of this Pyrex glass and the coefficient of expansion of water. So what happens? Let me talk a little bit about this one. When you hit it, both the Pyrex glass and the water both expands together. And in this case, you have noticed the expansion, volume expansion coefficient of water and the Pyrex glass are different. What does that mean? This means the, both the Pyrex glass and the water will have a different change in the volume after hitting it. And as the volume expansion of water is significantly greater than the volume expansion of Pyrex glass, there will be more change in the volume of the water than the Pyrex glass. So the Pyrex glass will expand less and the water will expand more because of the higher coefficient of volume expansion of water. And as a result, the water will overflow. But still the question is by how much? And we're going to calculate it here. First, the way we do this problem is, first we're going to calculate the change in the volume or increase in the volume of the Pyrex glass. So how do we measure it? We measure it by using this equation. That's the very standard equation for calculating the change in the volume due to the thermal expansion. And the P here stands just for the Pyrex. And beta, beta is the coefficient of volume expansion. Of volume expansion. And, and this quantity is given. And VOP, the V is the VO stands for the initial volume of the Pyrex glass and the P stands for the Pyrex glass and delta T is the change in temperature. All the quantities are given. So the beta for the Pyrex glass is 0.1 times 10 to the negative four is given here. And the volume, the initial volume of the Pyrex glass is given here. It is 500 cubic centimeter, which is cubic centimeter. And the change in temperature is because this one was filled at the room temperature and after hitting it, we go to the temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. So the change will be 50 minus 20, that is 30 degree. And all we need to do is a simple math, plug in in your calculator and you'll get this value, 0.15 cubic centimeter. So that's the change in the volume of the, the Pyrex glass. So do not go by this figure. This is, has been exaggerated. So the, the change in the volume of the Pyrex glass is 0.15. Now let's do exactly the same calculation, but now for the water. For the water, again, we'll use the same formula here. And this time we're going to use the beta, which is the volume, coefficient of volume expansion for water. And for water, this value is 2.2 times 10 to the negative four. So we have 2.2 times negative four. And the volume, initial volume of water, and this Pyrex glass was entirely 
filled with the water so the volume of water was also 500 cubic centimeter and again the change in temperature is exactly the same for both which is 30 then what you get the value is 3.3 cubic centimeter so this one expands 3.3 cubic centimeter and this one expands 0.15 cubic centimeter so the overflow of the water will be 3.3 minus 0.15 which is 3.15 cubic centimeter water so that means the water that has overflown to the ground is 3.15 cubic centimeter okay so this is a very simple steps to calculate the amount of water overflow so all the things you need to remember is the coefficient of volume expansion if if let's say you have chosen the your beaker or something which has higher coefficient of volume expansion then that means the water if the pyrex glass let's say for example if the pyrex glass and the water had exactly the same coefficient of volume expansion then the water would not have overflown because both ex both would have expanded equally so this differences in the uh, coefficient of volume expansion will result in overflow so this is it from this lecture if you have any questions any comments please write down in the comment section below and do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much